contact with the Otago. Well, it's just great. I'm Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, is that Dep Deputy Administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunter, we're rolling to you. Copy. Okay, now I have firepower. Jonas Harper, Vladimir Ruiz. From now on, the Marine squad will be controlled as a single entity. When you order the squad to perform a task, a Marine from the squad will be automatically assigned to carry it out. Okay, so same thing as before. Wow, if I knew I was just going to be get spotted, what was the fucking point? Cerberus protocol in effect. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. It's planetary quarantine. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. Uh, yeah. And I totally may not have activated said Cerberus. No biggie. Okay. I don't think there's anybody here. Alright. Let's, uh... Come on, get out of here. At least I've got fucking marines with pulse rifles. So hey, that's a step in the right direction. That's why I came here. Where's the elevator? Nothing on my motion tracker yet. So... Yet. And again, if we uh, take it nice and slow, we can take it easy. It's going to take some time kind of figuring that out. Let's make a quick detour. Anybody in here? No? Okay. Pull back. And yet... Nobody is out and about. Okay, where's the elevator? Still nothing on the trackers. This looks like a bar. Or some level of a cafeteria. But... It doesn't matter. We've got marines with pulse rifles. You okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. What? Harper? Oh shit. We've got movement. Yeah, we do. Motion tracker indicates any moving entities within a 60 meter radius within a what with a white dot. Oh, it's coming. And it's coming closer. Where is it? Okay. We're fine. Hasn't spotted us yet. Coming ever closer to it. But, if uh, my predictions are correct, we'll be fine. Just take it easy. Okay. Besides, we've got a way to fight back now. Like we're about to encounter it. Buddy, get ready. Manning? Where are you going? It's not safe here. It's not. Damn straight, but we'll get you out. No, we don't understand. It's here. It's here. <laughs> Light it up. Alright, shooting basics. Marines are automat are trained to automatically open fire on enemies when detected. Marines will open fire even when walking. When running, Marines can't use any of their weapons. So we can move and shoot, we can't run and shoot. Eyes up! That thing's still out there! Yeah, it is. It fled, and we're down eight rounds. Okay, motion tracker silent for now. 
Each Marine brings two clips, one loaded and one in their inventory. Okay. Take him out! Face a grenade! Oh, grenades. Your Marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. You can open the skill menu by pressing space. Select the U1 grenade in the skill menu and just. It consumes a command point. Easy. Bastards, ain't they? Oh. Command points are a resource that can be used in order can be spent in order to use skills. Command points are refilled over time until the maximum capacity is reached. You'll be able to raise this maximum later by upgrading your marines. Okay. So space we can activate skills. That's good to know, but there's also face huggers. We need that elevator. Punch it. Okay. Nothing's Call the elevator. Trackers, oh up. shit. Right. Set for suppressing fire and check your targets. Alright, skill menu. Suppressive fire. That's easy enough. Marines cover the selected area. Within this area, enemies move at 70% of their initial speed. Marines' firing rate is doubled, as, but as a counterpart, the accuracy is reduced by 20 points. It needs to be manually canceled to end. Marines performing a suppressive fire cannot run. Okay. Enemies who enter a suppressive fire are affected by, you know, a speed penalty. It's drastically... Yeah, 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 we just went over this. Suppress a fire. Getting closer. Closer. Yeah. Wait for my order. Steady. Steady. Daniel. Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Stand down! Quarantine breach in progress. Deadly force authorized. Bring it down! What the hell was that? I... I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. I agree. Okay. Well, let's call the... Let's get out of here. Alright, get it to the docking bay. Mission completion, 80%. Leave pioneers to the station's lower levels. Okay. Take this nice and easy. Hey, what a mess. Fuck! Incoming! Hold still, I'm... Oh no. What? This blood is... Some kind of acid. Fuck, what kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. Latimer, you fit to move? I'm... Not dying here. All right. Let's get off this damn station. Alright. Well, yeah, this is obvious to anyone who's played it, but... Oh, or who's seen the movies. But when a Xenomorph dies, there's a chance that it might explode into an acid burst, causing one damage to any nearby Marines. Your Marines can walk and shoot at the same time, so keep moving in the opposite direction of the Xenomorphs are coming at you. Ugh, plus extra stress. Where are we going? Okay. Looks like we're heading that away. All right, Latimer. Well, we'll try and keep you alive. We need Latimer mobile ASAP. I'll break open the med kit. Ah, health points and armor. I see the armor. It's that little white tick above the green bar. Each marine has their own health bar. This health bar is composed of the following: life is represented by green, armor is represented by armor points. When a Marine's health drops to zero, they'll end up either in critical condition or dead. 
A light wound can be applied to any Marine whose health drops to two health points. In this case, Marine has a wounded leg, which applies a movement speed. Okay. Select your our Marine. You're making it worse. Why are you patching Shh, her arm? Such a baby. And that there gets us. Oh. He ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, thanks. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get moving. We got shit to do. Okay. Motion tracker silent. Let's keep it that way for as long as we can. All right. Health kits heal marines. Shit, they're in the wall. Yeah, they are. They're too close. Switch to sidearms. Your Marines have access to skill to help them deal with various threats. Space. Shotgun. Close to the Marine with a shotgun fires a shotgun blast that deals damage in a short range. Okay, so shotgun blast is another ability we can use. Switch to sidearms. Those things are handy for close encounters. Eh, uh, that's fine. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Stress still hasn't gone up. But yes, they are. <laughs> They're in the walls. They're in the goddamn walls. So far again. Motion tracker is silent. Alright. Let's get out of here. Landing pad 2. Okay. I still don't like how quiet this is. But I think that's the point. This looks like a... Yeah, it's a terminal. Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move! No! We're in danger! What do you mean? Let's just go. Go. Go! Oh! Sergeant Harper, pull it together! We have to leave! Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Corporal Hutzler, get your ass down here! Hot evac! All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Okay. It's now time for you to use everything you've learned in order to survive. Okay. Suppressive fire in, suppressive fire out. Do the hokey pokey. This is what it's all about. Shit! Reading multiple contacts. Closing fast. How many of those things are there? Too many. We have to go. More of them are coming! Hold your position, Marines! Well, don't worry, Hunslet. There's no rush. It's not like we're all gonna die. <laughs> when you open the skill menus, it's slow more or pause. Okay. Okay. Would you look at that? Hell, she's taking a pounding. Otago, this is Harper. Do you copy? Hansel, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit, death trap. Damn it. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's... It's a dead zone. 
Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through, in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Uh, Martinez. What happened to your to see, face? Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it is your communication system working? It's online, but we're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a relay problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. You're it. Me? Oh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. So this shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory, seeing what survived the crash. Uh, do that. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. Hayes, you better come with me. Okay. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. We have to get in contact with someone if we hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shit house. Even if it wasn't, how do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? Well, they'll stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case a ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price needs to... You heard, to... Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for good. You want to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Leek. So we've got civvies in danger, and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah, that could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people... You find a way we can do that, then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway. Harper, I like where your head's at, but that's not the protocol I would have gone with. Alright, we have base management. Oh boy. You are now in the USS Otago. The Otago crashed after the activation of the Cerberus protocol. It will be used as an oper operational base for your Marines between each deployment. Okay. Check on the medical report in the med bay. Have a nice day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. I'm Administrator Hayes, I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of Marines are hurting. Half my orderlies are dead, and the medbay is being held together with bailing tape. How many casualties are we looking at? Between the platforms and the crash? At 20. 
and that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, sorry, sorry. Okay, fair enough. I, I can't understand. I, c I can understand. Wounded Marines uh, recover the med bay. A wounded Marine can't be redeployed until they've fully recovered from their wounds. Select the Wounded Marine, Mori. You can assign a physician to a wounded Marine to speed up the healing process. For each physician assigned a Marine to a wounded Marine, the recovery period is reduced by one. Assign a physician. This one's a priority. Understood. All right. I only got one right now, but there's also a lot of staff. So we have two wounded physicians. Talk to you soon. Workshop, what do we got? Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckled half the support bulkhead. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Need a gun, administrator? Okay, in a workshop. Once functional again, the workshop will allow you to unlock weapons for your marines. Weapon provides specific skills and increase damage done. Okay, so right now, currently our weapons are just a pulse rifle, service pistol, and shotgun. We can get a smart, smart gun, which is basically just a heavy chain gun, a heavy pulse rifle, which is a heavier caliber of pulse rifle, I'm assuming, a plasma rifle, service pistol, revolver, submachine gun, shotgun, incinerator units, Mines, RPGs, and sniper rifles. That's gonna be a wild up ways. Oh, we got a laboratory too. See you around. Administrator Hayes, I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. The company assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine see that happening now look at the state of my lab months of vital research gone if i at least had power i could salvage the backups but these brutes keep ignoring me uh, perhaps you could sorry doctor but they're not exactly friendly to me either it's not about friendly who holds higher authority a wayland yutani executive or your typical marine where does half the uscm's funding come from who provides their weapons hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. Well, of course I have. Deputy Administrator Hayes to the bridge. Hayes, please report to the bridge. Stay safe out there. All right. This is what the short-range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. You thinking what I'm thinking? We have to go there, see for ourselves. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunzut's dropship, our vehicles, my Marines. They all speak the same language, courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer'd run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I was in the military. Don't I know it. Listen, if I'm gonna keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for, either. Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Interesting. Okay. Otago Repair, which is campaign progress. Available Marines. We have 10 Marines. You can select the deployment panel from there. Select Launch Mission Buttons. Okay, well, we can't do anything else. Let's... Operations ready in the following area. All right, Dead Hills this is a representation of the planet Leith. All available missions will be displayed on this panel. Select the Dead Hills colony to access the mission. 
It's primary ejected data pad, 300 materials, two Xenotech. Okay. Then we're primary objectives, which is 14. Good God. Number of data pads, number of materials needed, and number of Xenotech. Let's Understood. build. Let's build up a squad. Data. Whoa, hello. For the first mission, management options are locked. Later, you'll be able to select the Marines who will be sent on missions and modify their equipment from the screen. Select the select inventory button. Okay. All right, when departing on a mission, you, your squad can pick different supplies. Medical supplies, supplies can be used to heal Marines and relieve their stress. Tools are necessary for welding doors and other technical interactions. Pick two of each. Okay. Ah, and that takes that from the resources, which we don't have a lot of. I see a smart gun right there. I see a sentry gun. Give me those. And we've got an APC. Let's rock and let's roll. Well, this is going to be fun. I'll see you next time, guys. All right, Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We've pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen on Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. Tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. Administrator Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. Well, don't let Corrigan hear you say that. Okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open, and let's see what's going down in this burg. On it. 